The very last slide in this show is a painting I just did of Roy Disney, who passed just a little bit ago. And it's, let's call this kind of a tribute to Roy. He contributed so much to sailboat racing. He loved it. When I was a young man, he had a sloop called Shamrock, and he'd bring it up to San Francisco Bay and race it in the big boat series. And that boat had a propensity for falling down. It would broach this way, it would broach that way, and that man just never quit. He'd pick himself up and start all over and away he'd go. And he loved racing. He made trophies for the Transpac race. He's one, he loved to go fast. He would have boats designed that went extremely fast. So this is a tribute to, to Roy. Uh, sailboat racing is, uh, I've done so much of it, and to me, it's colorful. It's very colorful. A photograph doesn't do sailing justice. It's a gray-blue thing. And when I do a painting of a sailboat, I can show some of the excitement and the fun of sailing in my paintings that just doesn't show up in a photograph. I've raced in extremely light air and extremely heavy air. A boat I designed called Sandpiper it was a 33-foot aluminum sloop. Sparkman and Stevens knew in his tank testing that it wasn't good to separate the rudder from the keel. He believed from all he had found out that an elephant ear rudder on the end of the keel was the only way to go. And you, you want to try to minimize wetted surface so you shorten it up. And then you've got this thing you steer with in the middle of the boat. And it takes a tremendous amount of energy to turn the boat in the middle of the boat. In the back end of the boat, you kick the back end around and you're, and you're off on a new course. Well, anyhow, he, he knew in the tank test, but I just from experience thought it ought to be separated. Oh, and Lapworth had also designed the Cal 40 and some other boats and separated the keel, and I went with Lapworth. So this little boat I designed had a, a skeg with a rudder on it, and it turned very well, and it performed very well. There's a race we had here years ago called the Buckner Race that went up around Bodega Head Buoy. And on the way up, you had to go around Point Reyes. Well, we heard later that it was blowing 68 at Bodega Head, and I'm sure it was blowing more at the point, at uh, Point Reyes. So anyhow, when we went around Point Reyes, we got thrown up in the air by a wave that just left us, and we free fell. BAM! Hit the water. And, uh, anyhow, I've done that, and, and racing in drifting conditions, when you have to have somebody light a cigarette to see which way the smoke is going to drift off so you know where to trim the sails. It paid off! <laughs> oh, I, I sailed a race up at Lake Merced in California, and it was so light, and I wasn't smoking, but the spider webs would drift across the lake and hang up on the rigging. And the spider webs were wonderful. I could really tell then where the wind was coming from. Oh, and, and we were late to the start. And by doing this, oh, my wife got bored. She was crewing for me. It was in a snipe. And she laid down in the cockpit sole and went to sleep. And I just took care of everything myself. <laughs> there wasn't much action in these drifting conditions. But anyhow, we saw the boats ahead of us where they'd get in a hole and we'd go around that hole and go around another hole. And eventually we passed up the whole fleet and won the race. Here's the painting I did of Roy. Thanks for your contributions, Roy. <laughs>